On Capitol Hill, New Hampshire's two members of Congress, both Democrats, are steering clear of the drama in the House Republican majority over who will hold the gavel. And I think the Republican side of the aisle is really unsettled in terms of who they want uh, as the next speaker. So with a, such a tight margin in the House, I expect this could go more than one ballot, so we could be in for a long day here today. GOP leader Kevin McCarthy has failed on multiple ballots now to gain a majority, the first to suffer a defeat like this in a century. We may have a battle on the floor, but the battle is for the conference and the country, and that's fine with me. A small group of Freedom Caucus Republicans are holding out, unwilling to back McCarthy for reasons both political and personal. Maybe the right person for the job of Speaker of the House isn't someone who wants it so bad. Maybe the right person for the job of Speaker of the House isn't someone who has sold shares of themselves for more than a decade to get it. New Hampshire's representatives say they just want to move on and get down to business. You know, bringing people together to get the job done. That's the bottom line. That's what we need to demonstrate to the American people. That's what they were asking for in the election in November. And the House has adjourned until tomorrow with no speaker. Nothing can proceed until someone holds the gavel and organizes the House. It's been a long time since this happened, but historically, some of these fights have lasted weeks and even months. Adam Saxton, WMUR News 9.